Dr. Z here, specialist in functional medicine, showing you how to rebuild your body and your mind. Did you know that estrogen is now classified as a cancer-causing compound or carcinogen? In this video, I will show you how a specific form of estrogen is linked to the development of breast cancer and how to protect yourself with a powerful nutrient found right in your refrigerator. According to health authorities, estrogen is a cancer-causing agent that can create breast, uterine, and endometrial cancer. The National Institutes of Environmental Health Sciences have added estrogen to the list of known cancer-causing agents. My question is this, if the natural estrogen found in the body cause cancer, why wouldn't young girls and adolescent girls develop breast and reproductive cancer? They have estrogen, right? The reality is this, synthetic estrogens from birth control and hormone replacement therapy put women at a significant risk of developing cancer. The natural estrogen found in the body is meant to exist and perform normal and natural functions in the body. We run into a problem when estrogen is transformed into another form of estrogen that pose a risk for the development of breast cancer and the others. The formation of estrogen starts with cholesterol. Cholesterol becomes pregnenolone, pregnenolone becomes androstenedione, then into estrone, and finally into estradiol. Now estrogen has multiple functions in the body. For one, it protects the coronary arteries from inflammation. In the brain, it helps maintain body temperature and memory. In the breasts, it stimulates development and milk production. In the uterus, it prepares the uterus to nourish the fetus during pregnancy. It preserves bone density. It stimulates the maturation and maintains lubrication of the vagina. In the ovaries, it stimulates maturation and stimulates part or start of the menstrual cycle. Now, the way estrogen works is estrogen attaches to the estrogen receptor. This combination causes an internal reaction in the cell that activates the cell's DNA to make specific proteins, and those proteins that are created from the DNA actually have a role in creating cell growth and proliferation. Now, estrogen is metabolized into two different metabolites by two different enzymes. Estrone becomes 2-hydroxyestrone, and estrone becomes 16-hydroxyestrone. Now, according to the research, 2-hydroxyestrone prevents breast cell growth and proliferation, while 16-hydroxyestrone causes cell growth, unscheduled DNA production, and it turns on genes that cause cancer. 16-hydroxyestrone was, again, found to attach to the estrogen receptor that induced abnormal cell growth and proliferation. 16-hydroxyestrone binds to estrogen receptors that increase stimulation of the receptor for days instead of hours. And again, 16-hydroxyestrone caused increased cell growth and proliferation. The key here is this 2 to 16-hydroxyestrone ratio. Estrogen metabolism increases the production of 16 has been linked to breast cancer, whereas the production of 2-hydroxyestrone protects against breast cancer. So the question is this. What can you do to reduce the 16-hydroxyestrone and increase 2-hydroxyestrone? A natural way to do this is to consume cruciferous vegetables that contain a powerful compound called indole-3-carbonyl. And according to the research, indole-3-carbonyl, or I3C, increases 2-hydroxyestrone and significantly decreases 16-hydroxyestrone. Indole-3-carbonyl also increase the activity of the enzyme that increases the levels of the 2-hydroxyestrone. Now what's really amazing, according to research, human breast cancer cells treated with indole-3-carbonyl showed an 18-fold increase in the ratio of 2 to 16-hydroxyestrone, a 2-fold increase in cancer cell death, and a 60% inhibition in cancer cell growth. Amazing. Now, how much indole-3-carbonyl do you need to take in or eat in order to protect your breasts from estrogen or the 16-hydroxyestrone? Two servings of broccoli a day or other cruciferous vegetables provide roughly 150 to 200 milligrams of I3C. That's enough to start reducing 16-hydroxyestrone and increase the 2-hydroxyestrone. Other cruciferous vegetables include cauliflower, 
bok choy, Brussels sprouts, and kale. And if you get gassy eating these foods, consider taking oral enzymes that have enzymes in it to help you break down those vegetables. The natural estrogen found in the body creates normal function until it is modified into the potential harmful form 16-hydroxyestrone. By eating cruciferous vegetables with indole-3-carbonyl, you can block the formation of 16-hydroxyestrone and increase the levels of 2-hydroxyestrone. And by doing so, you reduce the chances of developing breast cancer by regulating cell growth and proliferation caused by transformed estrogen. In addition to eating a serving of cruciferous vegetables a day, consider supplementing with indole-3-carbonyl. Indole-3-carbonyl by Victory Nutraceuticals is a non-GMO stabilized form of indole-3-carbonyl that is combined with rosemary extract to reduce oxidation to help ensure potency. This stabilized form will allow you to receive the maximum therapeutic dose of 400 milligrams per day to increase your levels of 2-hydroxyestrone and decrease the levels of 4-hydroxyestrone. In future videos, I'll explain the mechanisms of how estrogen becomes the toxic form and what kind of testing you can get done to evaluate those harmful levels. I hope this helps to rebuild your body and your mind. I'll see you in the next video.